How is everybody doing today? And in this video specifically, we are going to be talking about Boo Hill, which honestly, in the live stream that we had recently, we didn't get a lot of information from him. But from what we see, not only from what they said in the live stream and also some of the visuals we got to look at, Boo Hill looks pretty strong. But there's only one problem and something that we do need to talk about where he's going to be in a brand new era of DPS units similar to Akron because he is going to have his own type of damage that not a lot of other characters kind of benefit off of as much and we also have to look at how he does his damage which that is the problem we have as of right now and something i do want to talk about in regards to boo hill's value and also boo hill's role in the meta of course looking at since he's a dps character we have to talk about characters like jing liu we have to talk about characters like don hung and we have to talk about characters like akron in comparison to boo hill because we have all these characters that can rerun in the future and we have all these characters surrounding him as well with firefly and also jade coming into the mix eventually but we'll go ahead and get into that in a quick second before we get into that make sure to leave a like a comment and a sub and all that different type of stuff and let me know who you are most excited for if it's not boo hill then what other five star because there's a lot of really high five stars coming out very very soon and just overall i think if i had to say one it would definitely be robin robin's just i love the song i love the design i love everything I just need her to come out so that we can go ahead and summon her. But let's go ahead and keep talking about Boo Hill and what he's able to do. So Boo Hill, as far as we've seen in the live stream itself, we end up seeing that he is a single target DPS. Now that is something we'll be talking about in more detail in a quick second. But to talk about what he does mainly, his skill is going to activate a stance that is going to put you against an enemy. And you are going to choose which enemy you want to stand off against. Once you stand off against this enemy, not only do you taunt the enemy to hit Boo Hill only, kind of like a Western showdown for the most part. You and him and that's it. And you also increase the damage you do to each other. So he does more damage to you. You do more damage to him. Honestly, really exciting in the way they are changing the way units work. And also giving them these small benefits as well that are really cool to see. I like how it's just really in tune with the Western Showdown type of feel. And then not only that, you also get buffs based on either winning the duel or breaking the unit. Which is honestly very exciting to see that we have a DPS around the idea of breaking them out and what makes it even more exciting is that through his technique and through his ultimate you can implant physical weakness this is the first time ever that we've had it where a unit is able to just throw on a weakness that's not silver wolf and able to go ahead and abuse it to their liking and someone like boo hill who is going to be a single target dps if you're implanting weakness on the enemy that you're going against well, that just means you're able to break them regardless. And with having characters like Ruan Mei, having characters like Gallagher, who are helping with break, because as we know, Bleed is one of the strongest dots and one of the strongest pops for the toughness shield. There's a lot of really cool things that could end up happening with Boo Hill and how he's going to end up working with being able to break, with having teammates that incentivize them breaking like Ruan Mei, with their weakness break efficiency, with their break effect boost, with also having someone like Gallagher also helping out and also having the Watchmaker set helping out with break effect as well for the whole entire team a lot of really cool stuff is happening with boo hill and a lot of really cool things can happen when it comes to boo hill and what he's able to do as a dps overall i think what we know so far about him really exciting for the most part i think he has some really cool aspects to his kit when it comes to the standoffish type of aspect of what he has in his kit but now here to talk about the more dire situations with boo hill which yes he is a hunt character and yes, he is a single target DPS. Now, we don't know 100% if there's more benefits locked behind him when it comes to something similar to a resurgence or a speed boost or anything like that. That is not something we were known in right now when it comes to the stream. And we don't know what any of his major traces do until we end up getting the information officially. So looking at Boo Hill, he's in a weird spot. He seems to be very, very strong because he can brute force any content you're basically trying to get after. When it comes to going against any enemy, Boo is able to go ahead, use his technique or use his ultimate. Boom, you have physical weakness. Now I can break you. Now I get my buffs out. Now I can do some nasty damage to you because I don't have to worry about you having my weakness. I'm putting it on you. That's a very strong thing to have for Boo Hill specifically and a really cool thing to have in the meantime. But when it comes to him being a single target DPS, this is where it gets a little, and I mean a little problematic. Because right now, we've been straying away from full-on single-target DPS for a very long time, even since the beginning. Because looking at someone like Sele, she isn't truly single-target DPS. Now, she does have a lot of single-target damage, 
But that doesn't mean she's only limited to that one character. Because of her resurgence mechanic, we are able to go again and go ahead and beat out four characters to so three characters when it comes to her skill, ult, skill, combo, whatever you want to do. And this is putting her in a very good spot, being able to deal with multiple enemies at once. Same thing with someone like Dr. Ratio, you can split his damage even so with being able to skill one enemy, ult another while your other teammates are hitting the person that got ulted and that hits multiple enemies at the same time doing for some destruction damage when it comes to ratios follow-ups and how he's able to split his damage between two characters we haven't truly been given a full-on single target dps in a long time and if boo hill were to be a full-on single target dps well, that kind of puts him in a weird spot. Not only for modes that probably MLC, this is going to be a little bit weird. Because as we know, when you go into these floors and you look at what you're going against, this Mara guy takes out two other minions. And then we also have the Horse Elite, which ends up bringing out four enemies all at the same time. Which gets pretty, I guess you say, a lot of enemies that get put onto the field immediately. Same thing with Yan Qing. He loses his weaknesses when it comes to him spawning in his swords, which are four of them. So you kind of have to have AoE if you want to break those swords and give him back his weakness. Because otherwise, you aren't going to be shredding down his shield because it literally can't go down. So there's a lot of situations in MOC at the current moment where you don't get that option to just go ahead and burst down one enemy. We also have something like with Sam where there's only two characters when it comes to the chainsaw guy and also sam himself now once you take down the chainsaw guy then you can go for sam this is a little bit better for boo hill because there's less enemies that end up getting spawned in there's less enemies to have to deal with you can burst down one character and then boom you're good now for other end game modes which we now have to consider this is where it gets a little bit problematic moc he could possibly do fine depending on how they want to work with when it comes to the future characters that are coming into the game or the future modes or how the enemies are going to be layered out because as we know with the brand new moc they are specifically looking into break as a specific enemy type with the dinosaurs being full on i really want to get broken and then you can do damage to me otherwise you're doing zero damage that's a really cool mechanic and these type of enemies are definitely going to help out Boo Hill in the long run because if you're dealing with the dinosaur and you're dealing with the boss, that's only two enemies you have to deal with and Boo Hill could probably eviscerate one of them very easily, which puts them in a good spot. Same thing if you were to go against Aventurine, then you have a single target character that you can go ahead and fight and now Boo Hill can get hyper buffed all the way to as max as he possibly can and start doing some enormous damage. That's what Boo Hill one specifically has to make sure that he has is a fat ton of damage because that's something that the hunt path has not been able to compete with when it comes to the other paths like destruction like erudition like all these other paths even the hility being out with one of the strongest hitting characters in the game when you look at the paths and you look at hunt deals an extraordinary amount of single target damage the main damage dealer against elite enemies hunt class should be eviscerating and evaporating these elite class enemies or the more tankier enemies in the game but we have characters like Eurydice with Argenti, with characters in the destruction field, and also Nihility. that are able to put out some of the most nastiest amounts of damage and being able to one-shot at elites, being able to destroy elites with their skill, all the different type of stuff. Hunt necessarily has to get a very, very strong single target character to be able to compete with all these other characters. Because why go ahead and fight one character when you can go ahead and pick out a character like Don Hung or Jing Liu, where they're able to hit three and eviscerate the two on the side and have the middle guy still getting hurt by a massive amount. So right now, Boo Hill is in a weird situation with him being fully single target, but he does have his pros. Now, we also have a new end game mode coming out in the future, which is going to maybe be catered towards him. Right now, we know that it's going to be a boss battle, but it's going to be modified in some certain way. Whether it be more toughness bar, whether it be more HP, whether it be only single target enemy, that's where he'll shine. That's where the hunt class will go absolutely insane with characters like Topaz and Numbi, Dr. Ratio, Boo Hill himself. There's a lot of different characters that thrive in that single target scenario that would really, really love that type of end game mode. Because as of right now, MOC is a mixed bag between what we're going to be going against. Usually it's around three enemies to five enemies on the field. And then, it, you know, you basically chop one down as is 
and then we have pure fiction which we know is a full out field of enemies you really want to use these erudition characters like himiko like herda like argenti these characters do absolute work in this mode so we have a mode that's a mixed bag for moc we have a mode for erudition or aoe units which is pure fiction and now hopefully with apocalyptic shadow we're gonna see a mode centered around or catered to these single target dps units like ratio like numby and also like boo hill so right now boo hill's worth and value as a dps is honestly up in the air just because we don't know what's going to be happening with the brand new end game mode we don't know how he's going to compare with characters like akron with how amazing she's been and absolutely how game breaking she's been with how she has no energy how she works off of teammates really freaking cool stuff and then we also have to look at the giants beforehand which are characters like don hung which are characters like jing liu how great they are with jing liu being self-sufficient and Don Hung being absolutely monstrous when paired up with the right characters. So we're going to have to see if Boo Hill and his single target damage are going to be worth it. His ability to be able to implant is still really cool. The ability to taunt and make the enemy have more damage towards Boo Hill is honestly very interesting. Because I can't imagine you taunting the boss. And then the boss just does his ultimate mechanic or their ultimate mechanic and then you just get absolutely eviscerated. That'd be funny. I'm not going to lie. There might be some type of play with having someone like Avengerine or maybe having someone like Japar on the team with Boo Hill. I have no idea how that's going to work out. Gallagher might be his best in slot sustain because he does help with break damage, which is going to go ahead and help out Boo Hill because as we know, as we've seen from the stream, he gets buffs from being able to break the enemies or deplete their toughness bar with someone like Gallagher with his ultimate is going to allow for more break damage. And that's going to be really cool to see how Ruame, Gallagher, I don't know, maybe someone like Ting Yoon or Sparkle or Bronya, how they're going to be in relation to how they're going to work with Boo Hill. A lot of really crazy stuff is going to happen. His values up in the air, of course. With Boo Hill being in the second half of the patch, we still have to look at and we still have the information available to us that we're going to know how Boo Hill works by that time. We're going to know how Jade and Firefly are going to end up being because we're going to get the stream for those characters. And then not only that, we also have Drip Marketing, which I don't expect us to get another Harmony character in a good minute because we already have what I made my video about yesterday, which is the final piece of the puzzle being Robin being for a lot of the dual DPS comps while May is going to be for break and how Sparkle is going to be for single target or hyper carry. So there's just a lot of stuff happening with Robin coming into the game. Boo Hill has a lot of value that's being thrown out, whether it's going to be good, whether it's going to be bad with Firefly and Jade coming out with it being a destruction character, which we know are the big hitters and Iridition being good for possibly pure fiction and maybe even MOC. We haven't seen an Iridition character since Argenti, so we're gonna have to wait and see how that's going to play out when it comes to their synergies, when it comes to what characters are gonna be good with them. And then we have Drip Marketing coming out as well during Boo Hill's time. So Boo Hill, honestly, has a lot of competition around them. Not like Robin, who's a Harmony character, where she's innately going to get a fat ton of value, while Boo Hill's a Hunt character, not really one of the more favorite pads in the game and is surrounded by not only Firefly, a fan favorite with Sam, and also Jade, who's also another fan favorite, and whatever the heck is drip marketed, which I can assume would be maybe a sustain in the DPS. I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see how that's going to work out. But other than that, that's going to be it for the rest of this video. Let me know what you think about Boo Hill. What value do you think he's going to have? Where he's going to excel at? Do you think that the brand new end game mode is going to be catered towards him and other single target DPS? I would love to know in the comments below. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. All the way to end the video. See you all in the next one. Make sure to leave a follow on Twitch. Make sure to leave a join the Discord. All the different types of stuff. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. See you all in the next one. And peace.